So let's test the best selling plasma cutter on Amazon. And the crazy thing is, this thing is can be found on sale for a couple hundred bucks. And I know you've probably used one of these, or maybe you've spent your whole life cutting metal with one of these. They both work, but man, it gets expensive buying gas and cutoff wheels. So let's try this thing out. This is from Best Arc. Now, full transparency, Best Arc did send me this thing. They sent me a welder a couple months ago. I did a video review on that, and then I emailed them almost every day, my greedy self, trying to talk them into sending me a plasma cutter. Finally, they decided they wanted to shut me up and sent me one, but they didn't pay me anything for this review. So, I tell you what, I've got a couple projects coming up that I'll probably do a video on, so let's just kind of use this thing to cut out some parts and see how it works. So I went out back and I found just some random scraps. Uh, there's some fairly heavy, heavy channel iron, some fence pipe. What is that? You know, three eighths plate, horseshoes, T post. Here's some really light gauge. This used to be a trampoline frame. Oh, uh, what is that? Maybe 10 gauge. Uh, just a piece of practice plate. Let's just cut some of this and see how it does. We'll start with some of the light stuff because I think that's the main selling point of a plasma cutter is to make light, fast cuts without going through a ton of cutoff wheels and not warping everything. So let's do that first. So let's talk about this machine. What it is, is it's the Best Art BTC 500 DP 9th generation. Well, anyway, I'm going to let some clips run kind of in the background here while we discuss the, you know, the ins and outs of this machine and kind of give my thoughts on it. This was just as I was kind of trying to, you know, get the settings figured out. I don't have much experience running one of these. So it was kind of getting, you know, me figured out on the machine as well. But let's break it down and discuss this thing just a little bit. You can kind of see from these clips in the background, this was just me trying to figure out the machine. I cut it on some really thin wall tubing like what you see on a chain link fence. Um, I cut some eighth inch plate, both clean, rusted, and painted, just trying to get myself and the machine dialed in. After I kind of got the settings dialed in, it ran pretty good. Uh, here on, you know, in a minute we'll show you, cutting some really nasty stuff and trying to cut some thicker stuff as well. But after I got the machine dialed in, it really did run pretty good. So this machine, is a dual voltage machine. It's up to 50 amps of cutting power with uh, being, the ability to run on either 110 volts or 220. I'm not set up for 220. On 110 volts, it'll run up to 35 amps and up to 50 on 220. Now, with that being said, I do need to express a caveat. I've only got set up with a 20 amp circuit and 30 amps was all I could get out of this thing without tripping my breaker. And even then I could cut for a second, then I'd have to, you know, kind of let it rest and let, let everything catch up. So the review that this is going to be based on is on a 20 amp breaker. It was just very, very, just right at the ragged edge of being able to cut through three eighths plate on 30 amps. If you had a, a good solid 30 amp breaker and you were able to run the full 35 amps i i don't have any doubt in my mind that it cut three eighths just fine however quarter inch running the 30 amps it cleared through that like nothing worked out pretty good actually so we'll kick this machine on right quick uh it comes pretty well the digital screen works great if you'll see right now as soon as it starts up it detects an error that the air hose isn't connected. So let me connect that right quick and I'll show you about that. Okay, I hope you can see that clearly. It does have a fan running, so I hope you can hear me all right. But as you can see, the error code went off as soon as I plugged in the hose. It's pretty simple to use. Uh, this adjusts your amps right here. This button here, what it allows you to do is as soon as you hit the trigger, this air pressure drops to whatever the constant air pressure would be. So if I hit that, then I can tune in my air pressure so that whenever I hit the trigger, I 
I'll know what my constant air pressure is. As you did see, it, do, it does have a pilot arc. Everything is pretty simple to mess with on this. Uh, this is for your uh, post, post flow for your you know air to keep going and pre-flow and for your your pilot arc and all of that stuff it's really pretty simple this is your 2t 3t operation simple enough for that i don't ever use 4t i leave it on 2t you know but the price of this thing is uh you can find them on amazon which i'll have an affiliate link for these if you want to purchase one you can find these on Amazon for close to $200, a little bit above $200, at least for this one. I'm really wanting to try one of the newer generation ones. Um, they're supposed to be a little bit more user friendly, but I really like it. One of the things that put me off about a plasma cutter for so long is sometimes you gotta spend 1500 bucks to get one. And you know, I don't know what the long-term longevity of this is. I know it's got like a 60% duty cycle, but for what I do, man, this thing, it works great. And I don't really have any plans on upgrading until this thing quits. One thing I'm gonna start doing with this channel is I'm gonna try to do a lot more of the doing stuff type videos rather than just the talking head stuff. And uh, you're gonna see this thing a lot in the future. Um, so kind of get more of a long-term review of it, kind of follow along with me and see how it goes. cut pretty clean for my skill level anyway and there's not a whole lot of heat transfer to that as you can see I can still touch that you know I can touch that with my fingers all right let's see if that straightened it out in okay of course it's not completely flat but man that did a lot better like that that's an improvement so I did cut a little bit more out you know three inches or so because I noticed I didn't get all the high spots, but it cut that really good. Okay, let's cut a slice out of this and see what we can do. Well, it's not a straight cut, but that's my skill level, not the machine. Okay, this is another piece of thin tubing. It's actually from a trampoline frame, so let's try to let's try to cut a piece out of it. Cut pretty good, at least for my skill level anyway. It's still hot. But yeah, that worked pretty good. Okay, these are some horseshoes that I was playing with a long time ago. Uh, horseshoes are normally 3 8 But anyway, let's see if we can cut that weld out. Okay, this is quite a bit thicker. I've been running it on 25 amps at 25 PSI. So I bumped it up to about 27 and 30. So let's see how this goes. Okay, there's 30 amps and I put about five more P about five more PSI in it. Let's see. Okay, here's a piece of pretty heavy duty channel. I wanna cut this off straight. Uh so. Let's see how she does. I'm gonna put it on 25, 25 and see how it does.
Okay, I turned it up to 30 amps at 40 PSI. I'm just gonna make a new cut. Let's see what happens. Well, boys, that might be the limit. I don't know if it's gonna cut that. I can cut the center section just fine, but I can't make it through the corners. Okay, let's try this bent T-post and see how we can do on it. I did grind the place for my ground, just to uh, give us a little bit better fighting chance on it. Okay, I don't know if this will do this or not, but this is some 3 8 plate that I need for a project. I'm gonna to try to make a cut right there. I'm gonna give the breaker plenty of rest. I did grind a little bit of the rust off where the ground is, so let's see if this will do it. Okay, I tried right here on 25 amps, it didn't do it. I bumped it up to 30, but I gotta be real careful with my breaker. So I'm gonna cut for a second and then stop. Man, we're barely making it through. Let me, give it some, let me give it some more air. I gave about 45 on the air pressure. I'm sure if I had 100 or if I had 220, this would be no problem. It's just a little much for 110 volts. So it won't quite do 3 eighths on 110. Okay, here's some bed frame material uh, just from the scrap pile. This is actually a pretty good use case scenario because this stuff is really mildly hardened and it will destroy saw blades and drill bits. So let's, let's see. Like a breeze, good clean cut, and it's not, I mean, it's its warm, but it's not hot. Minimal dross on the back. Okay, well, it's not my thing, but a lot of people are into artwork, so let's try to see how I can, I don't know, put my initials on this saw blade.
Well, I did it. Pretty clean cut, man. That's pretty pretty nice. And the cool thing about it, like I said, is that's not I mean it's hot, but I can touch it. You know? So that's that's really nice. Okay, this little garden trowel is aluminum and I can't stand it. It's such a blunt edge, it doesn't, you just can't use it for anything. Let's see how it does. Man, that cut great. Better than I expected, man. So I don't cut much aluminum. I don't do anything with aluminum actually. So uh, the way that the way that looked uh, without the red hot sparks flying everywhere, that was actually kind of cool. I'm gonna do that again. See right there where I tried to cut through the first time and I didn't realize it was a half inch thick. But it cuts through that eighth inch or so like it's butter. I'm I'm surprised. Cool. That's the first time I've ever actually heat cut aluminum. Well guys, there you have it. Uh, that's an honest review of this thing. I like it and I don't plan on uh, getting rid of it. Sorry, I know this camera is terrible, potato vision. But yeah, the Best Arc uh, Plasma Cutter, they have a generation out that's actually newer than this one. I'm gonna do what I can to see if I can get a hold of one of those. It's supposed to be a, a little bit more user-friendly than this thing even. So, yeah. Um, man, if you need one, I'd sure check it out, man. That thing's pretty slick. Uh, 